Hey guys, so today we are answering a subscriber question and the question in question was Frederick, if a developer... Oh, what's the question now? The if a developer succeeds at finishing a task but fails at pushing a file with git, what would you think of that person's skill level? So let's get into it. Now this is a very, like an almost oddly specific question and uh, Either this is truly a, just a hypothetical question, or this is a person who has seen somebody else fail at this and judges them, maybe. Or we're talking about, you know, I have a friend who, yeah, it's most likely the person in question. So, I, I want to touch on something here, because, before I give you this answer, one thing that I think that you should know about being a programmer, just in general, is that what do you do to um, well to a lot of people what you do is just magic it's basically magic most of the people around you who don't really have a technical background have absolutely no idea how the things that you do work and then there are these people who are very closely associated with you pe business people who work in IT and some and there is this phenomenon around a lot of people uh, today which I think is kind of it's 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 interesting in a way because programming skills and coding skills is so let's call it respected because that's that's probably the most accurate word it is so respected and desirable for a lot of people to know this that some people actually try to learn some just, just basics to be able to kind of drop it into conversation or to do some some stuff and you know for the most part my guess is that it's very similar to these subtle little bragging rights people have when they have a fancier car or they went on a special trip or something like that it's something that gives makes them feel good to be able to talk about with other people but they you like usually these people uh, get a get a little bit nervous and kind of doe-eyed on you when uh, there's an, a real programmer in the room or somebody who does it like full-time really really knows it. they usually tone it down a little bit in those scenarios now the reason behind this fascination and this um, misunderstanding about programming is because it's such a vast field I mean the computer can do all these things you have all these different program like these these programs and all these different technologies and this a vast ecosystem and for a person who doesn't know any better a programmer is just a person who knows all of this stuff they know absolutely everything it's actually funny because I read an article the other day about some of the contributors to I think it was the node or react team like some of their developers who just went out on a blog post and explained that guys we are your favorite programmers they don't know everything about everything it's just you you your un, un, non understanding of how IT, IT works that makes you believe that these people know everything and the thing is that with this Un, like veil of un understanding of non understanding comes this perception that they know that we know everything that programmers know absolutely everything about everything and the danger about that is that I mean I don't know how many times I have truly truly disappointed someone by simply stating uh, I don't know how your printer works why would I know that and they just look at me but uh, you you know stuff about computers Yeah, my usual response to this is the response to this is that, yeah, uh, that's kind of like asking why we have multiple fields in the medical profession, because a doctor knows everything. I mean, I can go to any doctor and ask for brain surgery, right? So, this is the phenomenon that this person is uh, touching on here. So, a say take a junior programmer, guys. I'm sorry that there seems to be this idea that you have to know everything. You don't. And I, I, will, I, will, <laughs> I will stare down fucking Mark Zuckerberg, whoever's telling you, whichever programming god that you are talking to, who makes you believe this and tell them that no, it's not vital for you to know absolutely everything. It's not vital for you to know the things that, I mean, that really only matters to a very small group of people. There are, the, there are things that are absolutely vital for you to know, but it, it's not about knowing everything. And a junior who has a poor understanding of Git is not a problem. 
it's not a problem because you can train that. I will tell you firsthand that Git is a tricky tool. It is a, an example of a tricky tool. It's a concept that is not that accessible to people when they first start out. I struggled with it myself and I will bet, in, bet that anybody do, does because it is tricky. And when something is new, everything is tricky. And when you are hiring a junior, you are not necessarily trying to hire somebody who knows all the things. You are hiring potential. Potential is what you're after. And this is why I tell you over and over and over that it's great to, in order to get your foot into the door, to have a few of the most relevant tools on your CV. But you cannot neglect the importance of just being, well, not smart, but knowing the fundamentals and really knowing programming because nobody, trust me when I say this, unless you are truly unusually skilled, it's very unlikely that a person is going to be impressed by just gen, in general by your coding skills. What's going to happen when, we, when somebody reviews your CV and of this, of this nature, they're going to look at your roughly at your experience and then they're going to evaluate your knowledge of the domain or like the tools that you use. And on a kind of gut feeling feel, all right, I expected this person to know this much. And this is a completely unfair, subjective, damn, damn thing. I, I, I'm sorry, guys, this is the way it works. Your manager is not there to be your friend or the person who's doing the hiring. They are there to look at your CV and say, OK, this person claims to know that and has worked for this long. And then they're going to look at your code test or the things that you actually do and say, hmm, this is up to expectation or this is below to expectation or somewhere in between that range. That's what, what's happening. So a person who, does, who knows how to get the job done but doesn't know Git is not a problem because you can teach that person how to use Git in what? Hours, maybe. And then they need to adjust to it and try practice it a little bit, maybe for a few, say a week, two weeks. Do you have any idea how big the investment is? Like we're talking about a recruitment fee of some, like quite a few thousand dollars to get somebody into the company. I'm pretty sure that we can spare a few hours just to get them to do that part. If we've already signed off on that, they are likely going to be able to produce a lot of useful code that is going to most hopefully weigh up their salary and then some. So what I want you to take away from this, guys, is that if somebody's telling you that you need to know all the things and you feel bad over not knowing one specific tool or you feel like you're behind because well, as you say, as I, in this example, Git is a tricky thing for you. Don't sweat that so much because you can learn a new tool. What's important is that you have that you have the fundamentals and that you truly understand how to write good software because that is the thing that's going to get you hired. Learning these like these tools is a useful thing. You should absolutely invest into it, but you don't have to be a master of everything, guys. You're probably just in the start of your career. I mean, if somebody had, uh, if the, if somebody call, sets a, puts a the person who asked this puts a comment on this video and says, "Oh, sorry, well, this developer has worked for 20 years." Even then, I would, say, I, I would think it's strange for somebody to work that long without being able to do that, but it was, it's not like unimaginable unimagin that somebody who's worked in a very specific way with a lot of skill hasn't learned it, because it could happen. It would be a little bit stranger. So just don't sweat that, guys. Try your best to really learn programming so that you really know how to do the things that is valuable to the company. And that is to use the big tools, like the things that they are truly, truly interested in, and being able to produce the business logic that they are after. Because that's the thing that, is ta that takes time to get, that, to get an understanding of programming. Learning a specific tool and doing something fairly standard that's something that you're going to be able to learn in a very short amount of time and they're likely going to train you to do that. Have a great day.